Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I thought today what I would do is review Giorgio Armani's brand new foundation, which is the Power Fabric Foundation. It is a long wear, high coverage foundation, and it has an SPF of 25. Um, I generally, personally, like foundations that are a little bit more luminous um, and glowy and kind of leave like a radiant finish to the skin, but I have noticed that on occasion, if I am kind of wearing the foundation all day, that I do tend to look a little uh, beyond glowy, like into the oily category, you know, in my T-zone, depending on the time of the month, that sort of thing. So I thought I would give a matte foundation a try. Um, I've heard good things about this, that it leaves a nice finish and that it doesn't feel too heavy. So just to give you a little bit of background, I am in my 40s. Um, my skin has typically always been very dry and sensitive, although lately, which is kind of strange, my T-zone has gotten a little bit more oily at certain times of the month. You get me. I am definitely appreciating the foundation that has higher coverage. Um, on the everyday, I still like a light coverage foundation. I don't want something that looks too much like a mask, um, but there are definitely the times uh, in the days that I feel I need a little bit more help, if you will. So I'm experiencing, I think, what most 40-year-olds are experiencing, sort of the fine lines um, under the eyes, uh, deeper expression lines on my forehead, my laugh lines, and I'm definitely starting to see hyperpigmentation. Um, they used to be my cute freckles. They are now turning into age spots. So, um, the higher coverage is definitely welcome these days. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. So I'm gonna put some of this on first, and I am a sucker for anything that is citrus scented, which this is. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, so while that sort of absorbs into my skin, um, let me just mention that I have shade 4.5, which is the same shade that I use in the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. So hopefully the shade range is consistent. Um, I, don't, I don't see why it wouldn't be. Sometimes it's not though, so that's kind of annoying. So what I'm gonna do is on the left side of my face, I'm gonna go ahead and use what I would normally use, which is my Flat Top Kabuki Brush by Morphe. It is the E6, and I use this with all my foundations. Um, but I thought I would give the Beauty Blender a shot as well and use that on the right side of my face um, since this is more of like a, a higher coverage foundation. I thought maybe the shearing out of the Beauty Blender would help. So I'm going to use that on the right side of my face. The foundation is one ounce and it is $64. I purchased mine at Sephora, but I, it's pretty much everywhere. It's not like an exclusive thing to them. So if you can get it at Nordstrom or wherever you find Armani Beauty. My face base feels like it's been absorbed, so I'm gonna go ahead and shake this up, and I'm gonna just pump out one pump on the back of my hand, and it is not a terribly thick consistency, I don't know if you can see that, but it is, you know, it's not like running down my hand, um, but it is moving, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my fingertip just to start applying this to the left side of my face. There isn't a fragrance of any kind. It does have like a very faint sort of typical foundation smell. Um, I don't wanna say it's like a chemical smell or anything, but just like a makeup smell. And again, I'm using the Kabuki brush on this side of my face. And I'm just gonna work that in. Oh wow, that is that is high coverage. So I, I do think that that's a very good um, shade matte. So I do think it's consistent with the other Armani foundations. I really, I really like the finish. It is, uh, it is definitely matte, but it doesn't look dry. And I feel like that could be oxymoronic, but it's um, it's just it just looks like my skin. It just looks like my skin, 
you know, if I haven't just moisturized. Wow, this is really, this is really nice. And it feels nice, you know, it doesn't feel heavy in any way. Oh, it's quite lovely. And I think, I think one pump uh, is good for half of my face, so probably two pumps for your entire face would, would do. So let me go ahead and apply to the other side of my face. And again, I'm just going to dab some on first. I'm going to use the, uh, the butt side of the Beauty Blender and just pounce that in. Oh, I'm really enjoying this finish. It's very, very nice. It's, um, it is a high coverage, it is matte. I'm repeating myself at this point, but it doesn't feel like a mask in any way. It doesn't feel heavy at all. Um, and to be perfectly honest, I don't really see a difference between the Beauty Blender application and the Kabuki brush application. They both look very, very even. Um, it's not streaky. This side isn't streaky from the brush. Um, and this side doesn't look too um, sheer from the Beauty Blender, which is sometimes what happens. Uh, I think it kind of, I think it goes on very, very smoothly. Wow, I am enjoying this uh, so far quite a bit, a lot more than I thought. I really didn't have high expectations for a matte full coverage foundation. I really felt like I was just going to want to, you know, take it off immediately, that it would just sort of feel too heavy. But this is, this is very nice. Um, and I am a huge fan of Armani Beauty, so I'm not really surprised <laughs> at how much I like this. So, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish my makeup, put on the rest of my makeup, and I'm going to check in a couple times during the day. I have to go out and get my nails done. These are, it's time. And uh, do a few other things, and I'll check in maybe once or twice more just to kind of give you a follow-up, just to see whether or not it really is truly long wear. Okay, I'm back. I finished my makeup. Um, I think the matte foundation inspired me to go back to the 90s and uh, do a little bit of a 90s look today. I'm still very much liking this foundation. I decided not to put any powder on. I didn't put on any concealer. And I usually like to spray some sort of kind of setting spray like an Urban Decay All Nighter or just something like a MAC Fix Plus just to sort of settle everything down. But I didn't, all I did was put blush on. I didn't put any, uh, you know, bronzer. I didn't put any setting powder. I didn't do any of that because I really wanted, again, I really wanted to get a sense of this particular foundation. So um, we shall see. The finish is still very, very match. <laughs> As you can see, it's only been a couple of minutes. Um, it has not oxidized in any way. I don't feel like the tone of the foundation has changed at all. So I thought I'd give you guys a close-up of what's going on here. So this is the little bit of oil that I'm seeing on my nose. Um, but as for the rest of my face, I really don't see it breaking down at all. And even on this oily spot, it's not like I see the foundation kind of separating, which is really annoying. But you see it's still very matte, uh, there's still like a very high coverage, and yeah, and I'm very, very impressed. And this is the side that I use the Kabuki brush for, and this is the Beauty Blender side. And I really don't see much of a difference there. I'm pretty impressed. And it feels good. It's for a full coverage foundation, it's very, very light, and it's super comfortable on the skin. I think that um, that has impressed me the most. Hi everyone, I thought I'd do a final check-in. It is about 4 p.m. and I've had the makeup on since 8 a.m. So I believe that makes it eight hours. And I just wanted to say that I think that it has stayed put really well. I ran a whole bunch of errands this morning um, for about three hours, so I was out and about. And the only thing I have noticed is that my nose looks a little bit shiny, but I didn't put any powder on after I applied um, the rest of my makeup. All I did was, you know, blush, some lipstick. I actually need to re <laughs> reapply my lipstick um, and some eyeshadow, eyebrow stuff. Um, but 
I didn't put any finishing powder, I didn't put on any highlighter, bronzer, setting powder, nothing, um, because I really wanted to get a true sense of the foundation. Like I've said a gazillion times already in this video, I apologize. Um, but it is definitely um, still a very matte finish um, on my face. And like I said, there's just a little bit of shine on the tip of my nose. But what is um, pretty awesome is even though I can see my oil coming through, I don't see the foundation breaking up around it. I just look a little bit shiny in that area. Um, but that's it. I've even had a couple of meals since I put this on and, you know, I wiped my mouth and did whatever and it's, you know, it's still, it's still going strong around my mouth, which is usually, I think, where foundation breaks down for me the most. It's always like the corners of my mouth and like down along my chin. Um, I mean, if I have a cold or something, then it's around my nose, but I think generally it's around my mouth and I don't see any any sort of like disintegration of the foundation there. So I am very impressed um, with with the longevity of it. I applied the foundation with a kabuki brush on this side and a beauty blender on this side, and I can't tell the difference. So I don't think that there's a major difference with um, those particular applications. And, and yeah, I give this foundation a huge thumbs up. If you're looking for full coverage, if you're looking for a matte foundation, if you're looking for something that is long wear, then I would definitely recommend this Armani Power Fabric. It is definitely long wear. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that review. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and comment below with any products that you want to see me review. I am happy to review makeup. I love trying new stuff out. Um, and you just, especially with a foundation like this, like you just never know what you may end up liking. Um, cause I never thought I would like a really kind of full coverage, matte, long wear foundation. And this one, this one kind of blew my skirt up. So anyway, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you soon.